Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski for ForexLive.com. Today's day is September 29, 2014. New Zealand dollar falling like a stone. I'm going to go through some technical levels here. Uh, you know the, the fundamental story. Uh, first of all, the Prime Minister Key said uh, the Goldilocks uh, value of the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar is 65 cents. Hmm. Uh, also said, uh, also uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, uh, the data showing today that uh, there was selling of, selling of reserves from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. So they're in, uh, or there could be some uh, intervention, uh, or there has been intervention in the past and could be intervention for in the future. That would force the uh, currency pair currency down against um, its uh, major trading partners, including the U.S. dollar, the yen, and the new, and the Australian dollar. So I'm going to take a look at those uh, currency pairs here from a technical perspective and also um, outline some risk levels or some levels where I would think that a corrective move would find sellers in trading here today. So pay attention. Let's take a look at the uh, New Zealand yen. I'm going to look at the uh, daily chart here first, and I'm not going to show you that much just yet. I'm just going to look at the, this much of the chart here. And uh, last week, uh, when we uh, talked about the, these currency pairs uh, in a video I did, you can go back to our website uh, and uh, uh, query uh, the New Zealand New Zealand dollar and probably find that video, or go to our YouTube channel and find that. In any case, uh, we are looking at this uh, the, this uh, this area right here at the 85.72 level as a, a level where which would be our next target, and then looking toward the 38.2 at the 84.24. Now that is of this move to the upside. That just goes back to the 2000 or one of the 2013 lows, the most recent one, which occurred in August of 2013, up to the high that we saw in 2014. Note here how the market's been moving to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside. A non-trending box right here. A non-trending box right here. And non-trending, what does it transition into? trending markets when it breaks out and it broke out today it fell outside of that box here and now we're breaking to the downside it didn't take uh, long to get down to the 38.2 percent retracement next target level when we when we're in a seven month non-trending market don't mess around with it trends are fast trends are directional trends trends move in larger trading ranges than you would ever think and uh, so I am not I don't mess around with a trend especially one that um, although it may seem like it's been uh, it's uh, long in the two through here it should be just getting started because we just broke out of a seven month trading range where can we go well that's when when you start to look back in time and see how far this currency pair has come uh, since uh, let's go back to 2012 uh, June of 2012 we are way down here around the 50 uh, I don't know 57 or so uh, level 58 between 57 and 58 8 level and then we started this uh, this uh, trend trend move to the upside we came all the way up to 89 so 50 let's say 58 to 89 89 is about uh, 31 um, hundred pips to the upside uh, that that's pretty big move to, uh, to the upside probably you know uh, well uh, from a percentage base basis uh, you know 50% move to the upside right so 30 on top of uh, 60 about 50% so that's a huge move and a huge disadvantage uh, from a trade standpoint uh, or or a, a huge burden on on your export sector to uh, Japan and so um, there is room to roam here for this uh, currency pair. The other thing that you have to be aware of within this currency pair, the New Zealand versus the yen, a lot of carry trade trade goes on in Japan. Uh, on the carry trade, what happens? Uh, they buy the high yielding currency, New Zealand dollar, sell the low yielding currency, the Japanese yen. So they're buying New Zealand yen, buying New Zealand, earning the carry profits. That all works as long as the price continues to move higher. Not only do you earn carry profits, you also earn uh, the increase in the value of the New Zealand versus yen. And so it's a it's it's a win-win. You win, win on both sides. Not only you win on carry, you win on uh, price appreciation. When it starts to unravel, which we may be seeing now, remember we're breaking out of a seven month range, you got to be careful. It could go down very hard, very hard indeed. And so uh, when I take a look at the hourly chart here, I'm going to outline risk levels for any sort of bounce to the upside here. Um, these are also levels where I would expect to see traders selling, okay? Uh, if you take the last trend move to the downside, not the full move, the last one, this is where the market corrected up here. Now we started to wander to the downside when they had the acceleration to the downside here and trading here 
here today. Measure the 38.2 to 50% retracement level. That should be where sellers come in, right in here. This is called the correction zone, or I call it the correction zone. In a trend move, who's in charge of a move to the downside? The buyers or sellers? The sellers. The sellers are in control. What do the buyers have to do? Take back control. Where do they take back control? If they get above the midpoint, the midpoint of that move to the downside, they're starting to take back control. And so they have to prove that they can take back control. How are they going to prove it? Getting the price above the 85.42. That's your stop shorts. All right. If you're short, and you should be because the bias is to the downside, this is your stop. This is your stop or this is a stop area where you start to be a little bit worried about the market perhaps moving up higher. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go all the way back to the upside, but you start to get a little, the waters get a little bit muddy if the market moves above the 50% retracement level. So keep that level in mind. If the market moves lower from here, uh, just move your Fibonacci to the downside and adjust this yellow area and adjust this correction zone and look for the market to not move above the 50% retracement. You got it? All right, let's take a look at the... Uh, um, the uh, another another uh, currency pair. We'll take a look at the Aussie New Zealand, uh, Aussie New Zealand next. And so uh, let's uh, look at the uh, daily chart of that uh, currency pair. And uh, what we saw on the Aussie Zealand New Zealand on the daily chart last week, where did we find support? 100 day moving average 100 day moving average bounced off of that level five straight days to the upside with a big acceleration to the upside in trading here today let's take a long-term view of this uh, currency bear this is next door this is your neighbor next door australia new zealand what is the price done here of this currency pair 131 down to oh about 105 or something about 2600 pips to the downside um, that's a huge uh, you know a huge uh, you know export that's that hurts your export market. You, you know you're trading um, advantage that or, or trading trading with your trading partner right next next to you. So it makes your good your exports more expensive abroad, and that hurts hurts your export market. And so when when Wheeler and and the, and uh, the RBNZ uh, starts to intervene in the market, they may be concerned about the value of the Aussie New Zealand, not just the New Zealand versus US dollar, but Aussie New Zealand as well. And so this move to the upside is just you know, could just be the beginning of something that would um, uh, lead to a um, higher move to the uh, um, uh, higher move to the upside. Again, it it uh, could be impacted by carry trades as well. Um, although the uh, the Australian uh, 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 it, there's less carry carry in the uh, Aussie New Zealand than the uh, the uh, New Zealand yen, of course, uh, because the rates are not as um, wide as um, uh, the Australian rates are closer to New Zealand rates. So so although New Zealand rates are still higher. So what's the 38.2 percent of this long term move to the downside? 114.78. Uh, That's a target on the top side here for this uh, currency pair. We can head up to the 115 level, and we're only only be getting to the 38.2% retracement of this long-term trend to the downside. That would be another target on the top side. That would be just the next target on the top side. So somewhere around the 115 level. That's about it. And uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, uh, hourly chart in this uh, currency pair and uh, try to measure the uh, risk uh, risk for uh, the uh, trading here today. So again, uh, let's uh, take the last trend move to the upside, and and this is a huge move uh, to the upside here. So let's just look at this leg to the upside. We moved higher, we corrected, we moved higher, we corrected, corrected down. This is probably about a fifty percent retracement of this little move. Yeah, about that level level. And so now we have this new leg to the upside, right? And so now what are we going to do? We're going to measure the thirty-eight point two to fifty percent retracement right here, and that's going to be our line in the sand. If it goes below that level, the markets get a little bit uh, muddy. If we've come down to this level, look for buyers against this level because they can protect themselves with a the stop below the one eleven eighty nine level. If it goes below that level, then rethink the, the rethink the uh, trade trade or traders are going to be rethinking the uh, move to the upside. But as long as it stays above that level. Bulls are still in control. Finally, let's take a look at the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. I remember uh, Prime Minister Key said that the uh, the happy level, the Goldilocks level, is 65. That's that's uh, way uh, down here, down here at that level right here. This is the long term. This is a weekly chart of the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. And back in uh, 2009, when uh, the um, uh, you know everything was going um, 
upside down in the world. Uh, we saw the New Zealand get hit really hard against the U.S. dollar all the way down to 48.92. I don't expect the market to get anywhere near that level, but certainly uh, we can come down toward the 38.2 where we had these lows uh, going back to 2011. Uh, we also have this uh, low here coming at the 74.55 level, and uh, we are uh, heading to the, early, the, uh, the really the next target level at the 76.82 level here for the pair. Uh, in in uh, you know up you know this 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 basically four year trading range right here, one to, you know moving up to on downside, upside, downside, upside, downside, upside. Um, we're threatening to break out at least of the last uh, two-year trading range here. If we break outside of this box below the 38.2, it'll be Katie bar the door to the downside for that that currency pair. But we do do you know I would expect that we see some support or pauses here and here um, uh, before we start to head head lower here here. But uh, we are below the trend line here, uh, and the last uh, break of the trend line came in at the 78.28 level. So let's watch that level on the top side for this uh, currency pair 78 what is it 7828 level currently trading at 7737 uh, so about 100 pips away from that let's go to the hourly chart put our Fibonacci on this uh, currency pair uh, and um, uh, we'll, we'll be watching the 38.2% uh, retracement at 7803 uh, we do have these other trend lines which we've uh, broken below uh, and uh, what I uh, you know this one uh, was nice little strong uh, line a recent line here that we've had and we came down to it here on the last hour and uh, found a little bit of support there and broke through and fell to the downside. So this underside of this trend line, which is moving lower as each hour goes by, will be a level that we're going to be watching. This trend line right here, which cuts across, is an old ch uh, channel uh, trend line here. Very strong top side trend line. Not so strong bottom side trend line. Fell a little bit below here, fell a little bit below here, but still a lot of levels along that line right here and reestablished a trend line right here before correcting to the upside. So uh, we fell below that level that old trend line here that may also be a, a level to watch so draw those lines in here particularly this line and maybe that line right there again just going off the top side channel put a parallel trend line across there and it might help you also 38.2 to 50 percent of the move to the downside we'll be watching that so there you have it folks uh, three currency pairs here uh, under uh, the New Zealand dollar under pressure uh, in all three of them don't mess around with the trending market. Um, it, you know, trends are fast. Trends are directional. Ten, trends, ten, trends tend to move in larger trading ranges than you would think. Uh, instead, measure the corrective moves, and if they go above the 50% retracement, then the trend may be over. But uh, it ain't over till it's over, as I said in, the, in my video for the euro versus U.S. dollar. Same goes true for the New Zealand dollar dollar here. So be careful. My name is Greg Michalowski for Forex Live. Good fortune with your trading. If you like this video, uh, make sure you click the like and also share it with other people. Um, that would be um, uh, give me feedback and also um, uh, tell other people out there uh, what you do, what you like, and what's good. Bye bye now.